Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Y'all today I've got the biggest fall haul y'all. <laughs> it's a lot of y'all. I think I also have a rainbow on my head. Is that, I keep catching it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. This haul is from a few trips. It's been a while, if y'all haven't noticed. I did a video on things that we don't buy. I did a video on our relationship. Just a couple of other like different things. And in the meantime, I've been thrifting a little bit. So in our last, there's that rainbow, you see it? <laughs> in our last house, we only had a space, I don't even know how, like about yay big, about as big as the camera <laughs> for our fall decorations. It was a really small space in a closet. It's probably about this wide and again, probably about that high. Well, now that we're in this new house, we have an abundance of storage in our basement. Our basement's a little bit scary, but it's wonderful for storage. <laughs> I'm excited because now I can officially start to have like real decorations, you know, and it doesn't have to be like so minimal like it has in the past. I told you guys I'm not a minimalist, <laughs> but I do try to be intentional about what I buy, which I made a couple of mistakes in my thrift haul today. And I'll tell you about those when I show them to you. This thrift haul is gonna be split up into two different segments because it really is big. So I'm gonna show you guys a lot of my shopping this week and then I'm gonna show you some more of it next week just so that it's not an entire video of all shopping and then an entire video of all, you know, showing you. <laughs> this is mostly from Goodwill Outlet and then the regular Goodwill retail stores. I wasn't able to hit up any local thrift stores lately just because there's just none in my area. I'm not gonna lie, I've got enough on my plate. I'm not driving out of my way to go to specific thrift stores. I'm gonna go what's on the route of my daily routine. All right, so let's get started, let's go thrifting. everybody. I am actually just hopping on over here real quick. First of all, to show you, y'all, I cut my wig. <laughs> a lot of you guys asked in my 40 things I don't buy video about if I spend money on getting my hair cut and colored. And the answer is yes. That's like one of my splurges that I do. My hair is just so thick. I have to get it cut and colored by somebody else. Also, you guys are always commenting on how often I push my hair out of my face. And my answer to that is if your hair was as thick as mine, you'd be pushing it out of your face all the time too because it's constantly falling in front of my eyes. Oh, also, I don't actually wear a wig. <laughs> I just, I refer to like my hair as my wig, my nails as my talons, my teeth as my fangs, you know, just like, I love to describe myself in like the most grotesque terms possible. <laughs> in Christian fashion, I forgot to mention that today I am partnering with Sarah from Sarah's October Home. Okay, y'all, and I know you're like, Kristen, we all follow her, it's fine. <laughs> but in case there's a chance that somebody on here does not follow her, I want to give y'all a little sneak peek into her channel. Okay, so I really need to give her like a proper shout out because when we did our collaboration like last year this time, I think I had like a couple hundred subscribers and she was so gracious and totally reached out to me and offered to give me a shout out on her channel. Well, I didn't know anything about YouTube even really at that point. I'd never done a collaboration with somebody. And she's like, yeah, we just kind of like tell a little bit about each other, you know, and our channels, all that kind of stuff. And so I sat here like talking about her and I did not even think to show you guys any video of her content and so I really want to do her justice this time and show you guys some of her stuff. She is awesome. She's a mother of three. She homeschools and if you guys love like peaceful, gentle, like just wonderful videos to have on, her stuff is just so good. She's got such a beautiful style. She's like currently renovating her living room. If you guys see her like bedroom, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I feel like she's got a little bit more refined style than me. You guys know how I am. I'm just like I love everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, but if you are not already, go ahead and subscribe to her and watch her corresponding video. You will not regret it. And go ahead and let her know that I sent her over. And same, if you're from Sarah's channel, please let me know in my comments. I would love to meet you. Anyway, okay, let's get back to shopping. I found this little, uh, what? Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Music box. Yeah. But what I don't really like about it is that it's supposed to be sharp, but I think it like Oh yeah, I broke yeah. it a lot. Huh? But I really like this. A typewriter. A typewriter? Typewriter. You want to show us? 
Can you show me? Mm -hmm. What is it? Okay, so I actually wanted to show this really quick because I realized I didn't have any footage of this print that I got for Emily, and I promise I got it at the thrift store. It was so beautiful, and I'm so sad that the glass broke out of it. I do wish that I would have gotten this shell ring holder. I don't know why, there's a lot of stuff in this haul that I just did not wind up getting because I was trying to save money. You guys, I know that Sometimes it seems so easy to pick up all of this beautiful stuff, especially because it's so cheap, but we really are on a budget. <laughs> so even like this crock right here, I would have loved to have this, but honestly, I have something that's very similar that I like slightly more. And so even though it was only $3.98, I did choose to leave it behind. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have brought home these coasters. I can't remember why I didn't because I really need them. They must have been kind of expensive. I also had this basket in my basket for a while, um, but it was $7 and I didn't show it, but it was all stained at the bottom and I chose to just leave it there instead of bringing it home. I thought these paintings were really interesting, but you guys, they were $15. And look at that gold on the outside. It just looks cheap and not real. Okay, you guys, this thrift store, I, I lied. I know I said I just went to Goodwill and the outlets, but I forgot that I did go to Thrift World and they had an amazing selection of kids' vintage clothes. I think that they collect these over time. They're not particularly cheap, but I thought I would let you guys kind of go through these with us for those of you who had kids who wore this type of clothing growing up or if you wish your kids <laughs> would wear cute stuff like this. I just thought I would give you guys a little bit of eye candy and let you go through these kids' clothes with me. They were so cute. I didn't buy any, but I loved looking through them. I really liked these hoops and I considered buying them, but I think that they were real brass, which makes them really cool, but they were very heavy and I just don't need my earlobes getting longer and longer. <laughs> this is a really pretty tablecloth, but you guys, it was $25. And y'all, I've got a vent for a second. I hate that Goodwill is upping their prices so much. Like I understand that this tablecloth is probably worth $25, but if it's at the Goodwill, I just, I really struggle to think that somebody would even pay for that because most people who are at the Goodwill are there to buy things for cheap. And I'm just afraid that it's gonna wind up going to a landfill just because Goodwill decided to be greedy and up their prices so much. End rant. <laughs> I don't buy a whole lot of clothing these days, but what I look for in clothing is the material. I feel like I can almost always tell something is 100% cotton, 100% wool or linen. And so that's what I was looking at, at that green shirt. I was just checking it out. I did try it on and it was insanely itchy. <laughs> This little brass pot I thought was cute, but honestly, in our own home, I don't know what I would do with it. I did kind of regret not buying this clock. I feel like it was, it was definitely new. It wasn't vintage, but it was really pretty, but it was 10 bucks. I don't know. I probably should have gotten it. It's a really nice piece. 
I loved this little pottery piece too. It was only $1.99. You guys, I'm having so much thrifting regret looking through this footage because so many of these things are so pretty. I did like this vase, but I just, I think it would go well with my decor, but for some reason it just does not feel like me. I found this cute little hand done painting. I always hate leaving these behind at the bins. Okay, so this Miracle Whip jar, I considered buying it just because it's cool, but I do appreciate an expiration date on the can, and this one expired in like 1989. <laughs> so I don't need to have any kind of confusion as to when my Miracle Whip expires. Okay, y'all, as you can see, I'm wearing my new little Shein top that was in my trade with Emily Faith last week and I am loving it. It is literally just like the perfect color. It fits me perfectly. I love it. And it kind of leads me into my first item of today, which is the jeans that I'm wearing with it. Okay. So these were a thrift find that I found at Goodwill retail store and these were $5.99. I love them. They fit me perfectly. Um, they got kind of that mom fit and then the bottoms are a little bit cropped and tapered. So this is my favorite fit of jeans and I love that they had this really rough texture as far as like there's no elastic and they've just got that kind of like worn in look to them. John Galt, California. So that is the brand of these jeans. I've never heard of it before, but I love it. I've worn them multiple times. And the other pair of jeans that I found were these Levi's 505s. A little bit lower rise, which is coming back into style. I'm not here for it, okay? I'm not here for it. But it's coming back into style. And these are also kind of like more of the wide leg, um, kind of like boot cut. I figured these were $5.99. For Levi's, that's a great price. And we'll see if I wind up wearing them, how cool I am. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Josh and I, we work with a lot of youth and young adults. <laughs> and it's funny because I feel like in my daily life, I feel like I feel pretty young, you know? <laughs> I feel like I dress pretty cute. But y'all, I get around these kids, you know, these like 20 somethings, and all of a sudden I'm like, I look like a grandma. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I don't like the way that I dress. I'm just saying that like, sometimes I gotta like keep up with it a little bit more because Josh is so cool you guys I mean you guys see him he doesn't look anything like me you know you think that I would be married to like some farmer or something you think that I would be with somebody who dresses like Rip from Yellowstone but no I'm married to Josh who wears like whatever is coolest he is like so cool and I'm not <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but sometimes I'm like with him, I'm like, oh my gosh, like if I'm gonna be seen with Josh, like I have to look like I am at least in the same generation as him and not completely like 15 years older than he is. Anyway, all that to say that I have something horrendous that I bought and I don't know if this is like, tell me, I cannot tell what this is. I didn't tell you guys that I made good decisions on this thrift haul, I'm just saying that I made interesting fall decisions. Something that I found, I it caught my eye because it's obviously 100% linen. I'll give you kind of an up close. It has this really beautiful pattern in it, but I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you, you guys. It is a dress, I believe. I think it has to be homemade, right? But look at the sleeves. The sleeves are completely unfinished as well as the bottom is completely unfinished. 
And you guys, I don't know what I'm thinking here. I had to have it because the material's so nice. I figured the worst case scenario, I can use this to make like ribbons or um, <clears throat> ribbons. <laughs> But basically I was thinking I've got this hutch over here that I hang these little, what do you want to call them, wreaths from. And I don't have like any nice cloth ribbon to be able to hang these things from and so I have to make it. I figure I can maybe do this if I can find some fall wreaths, but I don't know. Also I'm like, could I wear this for Halloween or something? Like could I go as like a scarecrow or like a sack of potatoes? <laughs> Or am I just really not cool? And this is like the cool kinfolk like gown that you wear to bed. Let me try it on for you guys. I'm just gonna put it on over my shirt because mama's lazy. Okay, what is this? <laughs> Look at this thing. Y'all, I'm not saying wise, I'm just interested, okay? So am I a scarecrow? Am I a sack of potatoes? Or am I a kinfolk model? Let me know in the comments. I'm really not sure about this. I'm just gonna let this be my fall outfit. I feel like um, the girl from Really Very Crunchy wearing this, which, you know, she's also an idol of mine. So I don't feel bad about it. I'm just gonna wear it for the rest of the video. Okay, so I think that's all that I have as far as like the clothing goes. But I've got items for clothing. So when I was at the bins, I found these bags of clothespins. There's so many of them, but they're all like awesome and vintage. A few of them even have like this wiring around them. I don't know what that's about, if it's, a, if it's broken or what. I just thought that these were really cool. And I don't know if these are going to be used. Josh was just mentioning yesterday how long our sheets take to dry. And so I was thinking like, well, would it be cool if I did like a line and I could use these out there and actually use them for what they're meant for or would it be cooler to get like a jar and display them somehow i don't think that displaying them like this is definitely the answer i just thought they were really cool and there was two giant bags overall you know i bet you that there's probably at least a hundred of these vintage clothespins that i found okay next is another bad decision that i made i've got a brass plant holder thing like this that i love and when I spotted this, I was like, oh yeah, that, that must be it. But I don't think that this is brass. Now that I'm taking it home, it looks junky. And so I made a mistake. I will probably keep it in our shed or something like that. So if we have another plant that we need to find a pot for, I can use it just like, I don't know, maybe outside or something like that. This could be a terrible idea. I'm just full of terrible ideas today. So on the brass theme, I did find this little tray, which I thought was kind of cool. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it would be nice for like fall decor. It's got that nice brown tones. I'm trying my best to think about how I'm going to do my house for fall because I do have a lot of blues and stuff that I like to use in the spring and the summer, but I feel like in the fall time, it's good to kind of bring those back and bring out a lot more of the like, browns and oranges and reds and everything like that. So I'm gonna try to use this somewhere in my fall decor. I feel a little bit guilty for not exactly having a place for it, but I got it at Google Outlet and so it didn't wind up costing that much. So we'll see if we can find a place for this. Okay, and the last thing that I'm gonna show today is that I did find a pair of shoes for Ruby. You guys, I know I find these things all the time that I show you, but again, Ruby is a disaster zone. And so she will go through these shoes like crazy. And so I just found her a cute little pair of Cat and Jack size seven little shoes. They were $3.98 at Goodwill. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up this section of our thrift haul today. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will show you the rest of it next week. It was just gonna be so much. You guys, I know I've been making these like 20 something minute long videos. I know y'all don't have the time for that. So I'm gonna honor your time and my own time and we're gonna split this into two videos and see if we can make the most of it. I am going to be closing this video and then immediately opening it back up <laughs> and record next week. I will still be wearing this beautiful outfit for you guys. And yeah, I'll show you the rest of what I found for our fall haul. All right guys, we'll see you this time next week. Bye.